Motorcycles are, well, scary. To your mama, they're downright terrifying. The thought of her precious baby on a two-wheel death machine is enough to have her racing for that Pez dispenser full of Prozac that she keeps at the bottom of her purse. Didn't know about that? Well, this is a little awkward now. But if motorcycles are so terrifying, why do we love them so much? I've said it before and I'll say it again. Motorcycles, my dear chaps, are like women. Insanely terrifying and undeniably attractive all at the same time. What a rush. All right, my adrenaline-loving junkies, turn down the lights and grab the nearest weapon. It's time to go down to the basement. <laughs> Hello, you two-wheeled loving lunatics. I'm your host, Exchanging Nudes, back to deliver the regularly scheduled motorcycle content you've come to know and love. I spoil you guys, but you are my children. How could I not? Even though I've seen a few comments letting me know that it's creepy that I call you guys that, well, too bad. You'll always be my children to me. Today, we're gonna delve into the scary pits of motorcycle hell, but don't worry, your old Papa Yam will see you safely through to the end of this list, all the way through the troll-infested comment section, and back to that boring desk job where you should be working, but instead you're hanging out with me. Today's knowledge bomb is supported by Ridge Wallets, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about them at the end of this video. On today's episode, my young squidlets and veteran barnacles, we're gonna talk about the five fears you should disregard when it comes to riding motorcycles, and before anyone goes all berserker mode in the comments section, at no point will I ever seriously recommend that you should disregard your own safety or suggest that motorcycles are worth anything less than a healthy amount of respect. So unbunch your panties and let's get cracking. While the thought of our first fear is genuinely terrifying, especially for anyone on a decent bike, you've got to get over the fear of dropping your bike. Beginner and veteran riders are both scared of dropping their bikes, but the reasons are as different as night and day. A beginner rider usually starts out pretty nervous about everything having to do with their motorcycles. It's an excited nervousness, but the panic about dropping your first bike is a lot like the anxiety people have about getting the first scratch on a new car. You can park all the way in the back of the parking lot, but there's always going to be that one cart that finds its way into the side of your freshly detailed beauty. It's not anything that physically hurts you, but you swear you can feel the gut-wrenching pain deep inside your tiny soul. On the other hand, a veteran rider is more likely to worry about dropping their bike because they probably have a nicer bike, so it's probably more expensive to repair. Alternatively, I've seen plenty of bad days trackside when loading up a motorcycle into the back of a truck leads to a nasty drop. Sad. Both riders will agree on the primary fear behind the terror of dropping your bike, though. Humiliation. That's right. The fear of dropping your bike is born from the fear of being embarrassed. So, allow me to lay that fear to rest for you. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Will other riders rib you for it? Undoubtedly. Will they be the first to help you get your bike back up? You're damn right they will. Why? Because at some point or another, we have all been there. And because riders, well, we stick together. And because karma. So don't sweat it. Does it suck? Sure. Is it something you should really be afraid of? Not in the slightest. It'll probably happen once or twice in your two-wheeled career, but seriously, it happens to the best of us. Or even the worst of us, like me. Moving on, if you've watched the second video in my 7 Motorcycle Myths series, which you should, then you're probably already familiar with the safety concerns many riders share for riding on the highway. But Fear not, my fellow wheelie-loving companions, the highway and interstate are actually a lot safer for motorcyclists than regular roads. Look, I get it. I myself live in one of the biggest cities in the country, and let me tell you, some of these highways and interstates are scarier than Freddy Krueger creeping in through your bedroom window. And there he is whispering sweet nothings about the Panigale you should take a 12.99% loan out to buy. <laughs> Get away from me, Freddy. I don't need a European money pit again, but damn it, I just can't quit you. But that being said, all of the crazy rush hour traffic is going in the same direction. There are no surprise cars darting into your path from obscure turns or curves, no red lights or stop signs for anyone to run. And the only incoming traffic you really have to watch for is merged lanes and from the cars already in the lanes around you. While speed limits are slower on regular roads or streets, they come with way more surprises, more unknown variables you have to constantly be on alert for, which is why it's actually safer for you, as a competent and licensed rider, to stick with the interstate and highway when possible. And because 2am highway runs are super fun. Kidding, don't do that. Keep it at the track, my dudes. Okay, maybe sometimes, right? I mean, come on, we didn't buy a bike because we want to tool around like it's a Prius, right? Right? The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration published a study that showed 91% of all crashes between a motorcycle and a passenger vehicle occurred on non-interstate roadways, and then nearly 6 out of 10 two-wheeled motorcycle crashes occurred on urban roadways. Man, I'm crushing these fears. Alright, let's move on to fear number 3. 
This one kind of goes back to number one with the whole embarrassment factor, and that is being the slow one in a group ride. Here's the deal, guys. It's a group ride, not a race. And I've been guilty of riding a little too fast on group rides because, hey, testosterone is a hell of a drug. And when you're in your early 20s and you're on a machine capable of 170 miles per hour, well, you're gonna assert dominance the first chance you get but I wanna implore you to reconsider this one. The entire point is to enjoy yourself, and whether you're more comfortable leading the pack or bringing up the rear, as long as you're enjoying the ride, that's all that matters, my man, or wool man, whatever. It's easy to get sucked into competitive riding when you're on a bike, but worry less about where you are in the lineup and more about what having a bike's all about. That sweet, sweet freedom of wind knocking you breathless, giant bugs blasting you in the face, and that signature eau de swamp fragrance that only you can find pooled in the lining of your riding gear. Take a deep sniff, my friends, because that smell is the only thing you should be scared of. And yes, it's probably what's causing that weird rash. Introducing new and exciting from Yummy Noob, Swamp Be Gone. Got some swamp ass you just can't get rid of? Gooch juice driving you mad? Well, with the new Swamp Be Gone, you'll neutralize all these odors and more. I should actually make that into a video, shouldn't I? Let me know in the comments if you want me to make Swamp Be Gone into a video. And that's gonna carry us into the next fear you shouldn't worry about. There's nothing like hitting an oil slicked road after a shower of rain unless it's still raining when you hit it, which is why riding in the rain is number four on our list of motorcycle fears you should get over already. Riding in the rain can be nice. On a hot summer day, it can offer a nice cooling reprieve for the rotisserie carcass that was once your chiseled dad bod. It's a free wash for your motorcycle, which is pretty great because going through a drive through car wash on a motorcycle would actually deserve a spot on the list of things that are terrifying about riding our freedom machines. You aren't scared to drive your four-wheeled vehicle in the rain, assuming you have one, so there's no reason to be any more fearful of riding your bike. Use common sense and ride carefully. Wear rain gear if you have time to prepare, and most importantly, always remember that you aren't actually in a car, so pay attention to water levels. Turn around and don't drown is a saying for a reason. But that doesn't mean you can't enjoy a nice ride in the rain. Just use your head and make good choices. Say no to drugs, kids. Unless those drugs are Daytonas, then say yes. Always say yes. Say yes every single time. That triple whistle gets me jonesing for a good time. Daytona 3.0, when, my dudes. And now we come to the most serious fear on our list, the crash. This one is a legitimate fear. Motorcycles leave you completely exposed to the elements and to the choices of those around you. So it's natural that riders have angst about being involved in a collision. However, just like drivers of four-wheeled vehicles have seatbelts, motorcyclists have protective gear as well. And not just gear, there are all kinds of situational classes available to riders and some of them are actually pretty fun. My point being that riding a motorcycle is a lot like driving a car. There's always a risk factor, but wearing your protective gear and being prepared puts you at a much lower risk for injury or death. Wow, that got dark really fast. So protective gear wear it. You don't look cooler without it, and most riders worth their tires will tell you that riders not using safe riding practices or wearing the proper safety gear look like douchebags. So there. Wear your helmet, kids, and jackets, and gloves, and some quality boots. You know, it's weird, actually. One time I saw a guy here in Dallas who had a helmet, but he had it strapped to the back of his bike instead of on his head. I still think about that at least once a week. The reality is that gear saves lives. It's your seatbelt, so wear it. All right, noobsters, that's a wrap for this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get updates for the channel. I'll be posting even more motorcycle content to spoil you with soon, so make sure you are subscribed because you're not going to want to miss out on any of the ridiculously awesome stuff that we've got going on over here at Old Yammy's Place. Thanks again to our sponsor, Ridge Wallets. If you're looking for the best wallet money can buy, here it is, boys. It's made of super strong aluminum, literally bulletproof technology, and has RFID blocking inside of it. Basically, it's the best wallet and the last wallet you'll ever need. It's got a minimal footprint, easily carries all of your cards and cash, and it looks awesome. And they've got them in burnt titanium, black aluminum, carbon fiber, all kinds of spec. For a limited time, Yami fans get 10% off by using the code Yami at checkout, so click the link below, jump in, and get yourself the wallet you deserve. Again, that's 10% off using the code Yami at checkout. And of course, I cannot end this video without mentioning our bike giveaway. As you yammy loving bastards probably know or should know, I'm restoring and building up a CB900, also known as the Honda Hornet 919, and I'm giving it away. Check out the link in the description below to find out how you can jump on board for a chance to win this beautiful, soon-to-be hentai-wrapped motorcycle. Seriously, it's a free bike, guys. Jump in on this one. You'd be crazy not to. I'll catch you guys next time. See you later. Fact. According to US laws, a beer commercial can never show a person actually drinking beer. Go ahead, YouTube some of your favorite beer commercials. You'll never see a person drinking them. Goodbye.